Hi guys! So I'm super excited to share my next silhouette which is a peacock. They're a beautiful elegant bird and I'm super excited. I've been thinking of this idea for a while and I finally came up with how to I was gonna go about doing it with an acrylic pour swipe to get the feathers and stuff. So I created this peacock silhouette on the computer and I cut it with my Cricut cutting machine out of the vinyl but you could hand cut this as is a simple silhouette I painted the canvas with Liquidex uh, varnish first then I put the vinyl on top once the varnish was dry and then I painted with the same varnish over the edges so just to seal it and it worked pretty good. I did get a little bit of leakage but that's okay I just painted over it like usual and sanded the bumpy parts of the paint down so um, so all the colors have silicone in it including this dark green um, except for the blue that I use for the peacock body so and here I thought I would kinda do drops of green for each feather but then I changed my mind and I just went and decided to do it as a base coat for the lovely feathers of the peacock because if you look at pictures of them they, the dark green is kind of their all over undercoating for the color so I'm just spreading it around and trying to get an even coating now and this worked really good to for this technique to get the peacock feathers so and once I had it all spread out I just took this vibrant pabeo iridescent uh, green which was so pretty and there are links in the description to supplies on my Amazon channel or shop if you want to check it out and I just took the popsicle stick and I kind of put it in a U shape kind of like how you would see it on the feather so this is kind of like an abstract uh, peacock looking feathers so it worked really good the paint just float floated on top so even though these have silicone in it with flow troll and everything it still it still stayed to form on top but once I do the swipe you'll see how I get the cells and stuff so yeah you can just watch me finishing this up here and then I come in with all the other colors Okay, so now I'm just coming in with the bronze, which I love this bronze for these peacock feathers. It um, gives it a dimension. All the paints I used were super shiny, even the dark green. I mixed some iridescent medium in it so everything would be nice and shiny because peacock feathers have that really beautiful iridescence. So that's what I really wanted to capture with all the shiny paint and this bronze really worked great for um, the layer just outside of the blue on the peacock feathers so I'm just again using the popsicle stick to float it on top of the green and kinda do like a half circle kinda like a horseshoe shape And now comes the beautiful, this is metallic blue from Artist Loft. So it's mixed with Floetrol and water and that's pretty much it. I didn't put silicone in this one. Um, but it was so nice and shiny and iridescent, which was perfect for the body of the, I'm going to use it also for the swipe on the body of the peacock but I also used it for the blue in the feathers and it looks so vibrant and pretty sometimes the videos and photographs don't do the shininess justice in the of the paintings 
So I just kind of used the popsicle stick and I did these little swirls, kind of like a like an ovaly circle for that part of the feather. And here I'm just coming in with black. So this is for the middle part of the peacock feathers, which is pretty much black. <laughs> I just use a popsicle stick to put some little dots, dollops of paint inside the blue so that it'll create a nice abstract peacock feather. So it's, it doesn't have to be super perfect because this is a painting with the, and I'm going to swipe over it so it will end up getting like cells and stuff and I'm hoping it hold I'm hoping the feathers hold to form a little bit so which they ended up doing which was awesome so I just added a little bit of black to each feather and I'll go from there And if you ever want to or think that these videos are too or too slow, you can always just fast forward through some of my techniques or rewind. Um, just move the slider bar at the bottom, and I like to show the whole process. Um, but you can always just fast forward through parts if you don't want to see me doing it each and every one. So. Now comes the fun part where I pour the metallic blue onto the pe peacock body and I kind of, I love this blue, it was so shiny, <laughs> and I kind of spread it around. Um, I didn't want it too thick where the peacock head was and stuff because that was just going to be straight blue. but. And now I just use a damp paper towel and the key was is to allow it to pick up the paint but to make sure so when I'm dragging I'm holding it up so that it doesn't drag too much paint and then as I go towards the end of the canvas I pull up on it so it just slightly drags over the feathers. So at least this way it didn't pull the blue paint over all the feathers and when I pulled up on it it did drag over the feather area so that they would sell up and you get all these really pretty cells where the feathers are so just using the torch a little bit to uh, <laughs> pop those silicone bubbles so that's what we use the torch for so just to get all the bubbles popped and stuff works really good As you can see, the cells just kind of keep growing, and sorry about the glare in there. I didn't realize that that light <laughs> was giving such a glare on that side, but um, just fixing up some of the sides where the paper towel didn't quite pull over the blue, so you can totally go back in, and now you can really see the feathers. I love this because the feathers turned out awesome. They look just like peacock feathers. It's super exciting, just fixing up the edges. You can see all the pretty cells growing, which looks awesome. Just gonna here, I'm just spreading the blue around a bit to try and get some of the blue paint off because there was quite a bit on there and it was super thick so I just wanted to make sure to get a little bit of it off near the edges of the of the vinyl so I was hoping it wouldn't leak under <laughs> but
And now I'm just going to bring you guys down so to show you all of the um, beautiful cells that happened in the painting with the peacock feathers, which were super pretty. I love how these feathers turned out. They're so awesome and how and it's, the cells just kept growing, so it turned out so pretty. But I love the colors. It's all super shiny. And I love how the peacock feathers are coming down from the body of the peacock. I just thought it worked out really great. Okay, so I'm back. I've let this dry a little bit. This is all still pretty wet where the pretty peacock feathers um, are happening. But it is dry against the uh, vinyl. Obviously it did bubble up again a little bit but it's okay, I'm getting pretty used to fixing that kind of stuff. Which is totally fine. You can, If you do get paint that leaks under you can fix it. Um, but I love the colors, I love the cells that are happening with the feathers. I think it's looking really pretty. So I'm going to peel off this vinyl and see what we get. <laughs> so obviously a little bit of paint leaked under there, but that's okay. We'll just fix it. Hi guys! So here is the final piece for the peacock. I absolutely love this one. I love how all the webbing with the feathers and the cells turned out in the swipe. And I didn't like the white because it was just too bright. So I went with bronze. I pulled it from here and painted over the white with bronze. So the nice part is that with acrylics, once it's dry, you can just paint over it. And all I did was I used a little bit of um, paint pen and then I put the a little few little blue feathers at the top. So just to kind of, because they have that feather headpiece at the top. So I really like this one. This is, <laughs> I'm super happy with this one. This is super one of my favorites so far too. So I think it's really pretty. Um, I could see doing like another one maybe with an albino peacock. I don't know. I was thinking of trying that too because they're really pretty too. So, But this is definitely a super cool. So maybe I'll bring you guys down and show you kind of... the pretty pretty peacock guys so I just want to say super huge thank you for subscribing watching liking commenting and I greatly appreciate it bye guys